Inocente, sin duense, soy un racha who want beef Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies Put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone It's solely my job in Salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community And give my opinion because my opinion matters Sorry about that, Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia First and foremost on my video yesterday, uh, I was telling you guys that I personally do not know how to swim Now, what I meant by that, and I know some people are saying Oh, you're six seven. Now shut your peanut brain. If we're in an ocean, it doesn't matter if I'm six seven. The ocean is more than six seven. Suck the lalingu six seven. Ain't gonna do boo boo. It ain't gonna. Every time I hear leprechauns tell me, oh, well, you don't know how to swim. You're six. Throw me in an ocean and I'm dead. Now what I meant by that though is I can swim from one side to another. Like if I push myself from the wall, I can go all the way across. But if I have to float in the middle. That's a GG. I don't know how to flow. But aside from that, don't forget to subscribe. We're really close to $2,000 of a giveaway at 185,000 subscribers. Like a thousand something, some change. Really, really close. But let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week. And it goes to... You used to annoy me and now you're all I watch. <laughs> this is what I feel. This. This heart. It's for you guys. It's now, the first thing that we're actually going to be getting into, did you guys see with Alondra Desesita? And recently, the nail tech went on an Instagram live and she was revealing some cheese masks to a why her and Alondra Desi and Elsie aren't friends. And Alondra actually saw it because she unfollowed her. I think Elsie, too. I think the only one who has in is Benny. Benny was probably asleep. I feel me. But once he gets up, Alondra's going to be like, unfollow her. Meow. Meow. But the nail technician had this to say, my. I did notice you girls stopped talking because of the not hanging out anymore. Yeah, it was just apparently. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the subject since there's not like a lot of viewers either way. <laughs> Pretty much, I made a comment on someone that they talked to, not on them. Apparently, like, apparently, I've been such a good friend to them. They love me and everything right because honestly i did grow a bond with alo like i love her till today she has my heart like if she ever needs anything i'm always gonna be there for her and stuff but apparently i made a comment um of someone or something of some someone they hang out with that they were close to and i speak my mind guys that's one thing about me that if something ain't right i'm gonna let you know or I'm gonna make a comment of it because just with me, like it's either black or white, no gray. Like there's no in between. So for me, it's like if things are wrong, they're wrong. If things are right, they're right. You know what I mean? So apparently I made a comment and they didn't wanna make them feel uncomfortable. So that's why they chose to cut me off. That was like the last thing they told me, which I appreciate because like, yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna touch base like that's where I'm gonna leave it at they were going through some of like their hardest times you can say and I always try to be supportive I always try to put my part but you can only do so much for people you know what I mean and like I said they have their reasons why they wanted to cut me off so that's fine you're not gonna beg people for their friendship either I've never been that type of girl like girl I start talking to my dad who birthed me you guys the man is still living but life is great you know you lose friends on a daily basis like that's no big deal my whole life you guys i've struggled with having like friendships con que no me falte dios que me falte todo lo demás you guys as long as god is always with me like i don't need anything or anyone else to be honest what's funny to me is that one of the fbi chismosas was able to capture this yeah, because there was only 30 people there and she said the coast is clear here comes the cheese and i hit her with the uh, here again <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Can I get a subscription here? If there was no FBI Panchitas, we wouldn't have got this. So uh, salutations to her as well. And at the same time, Miss Alondra Desesita, she actually had a subtle remark to say and had this is it. Mike. Zabank! 
But while all this is happening, she's promoting her real, real, real nail technician, the real technician. And I'm talking about the technician technician. And like I said, I think she did unfollow her on Instagram. Hit her with a GG. Sorry about that. You're good. Always next time. But what do you guys think of the situation with a nail technician? And then I started seeing her replying to some comments on Instagram. Oh, my God. Uh, you talked about the cheese man first. Yeah, feel me. You just didn't think the magnitude would. Bring. They always say something, but then once the you know all the cheese muscles are informed, they get mad. Yeah, feel me. We didn't do nothing. That came out of your mouth, not ours. And the next thing I'm actually gonna be talking about, did you guys see with Miss Bramty's seat that Mr. Allen eyes? Now this came out. Oh my. Uh, you've been saying online that your business has been scamming them, that you haven't shipped out orders, and I feel like for a long time you've been quiet and you've let a lot of people do a lot of you know. Damage to your person on the line to your name. Is there anything you can talk about regarding that situation? Yeah, so I'm gonna be like a complete open book. I mean, I feel like. So it appears that she's finally going to speak about the whole uh, Pinky Bunny uh, situation. And I'm pretty sure she's going to talk about the other Pinky Bunny lady. And then the other Pinky Bunny lady is going to hear again. And then we're going to be hit with the... But what had happened is, if you guys didn't know, uh, remember on her Pinky Bunny website, she was getting mad at this other lady because they had the same name, the same bunny name. And then allegedly, Bram T was scamming her supporters because she wasn't shipping out orders. But she went on the night of Chia's and then she is explaining uh, everything that is going on with her situation. Do you guys think she's going to be dropping the frijoles? Make sure to comment down below. And did you guys see that Miss Becky G, another G6, like a G6... How many damn G6s do we? We have Carol G6, and now we have Becky G6. Like a G6, like a G6. Y'all used to dance to that song, like a G6. But aside from the G6s, Miss Becky G, she hit Mr. Anuel with a, you know, a high-key, low-key, subtle remark, and had this to say, Mike. Wait, hold up, Coachella. Hold up. I heard, I mean, we was big mad, but are we big, big mad about this verse? Let's go! Your mom and my mom, they're here both. Oh, yes. Mommy, mommy, como va? Dale! Ay, yo lo And I said, now everybody was commenting that Becky G is the type of friend that we need in a life. Yeah, feel me because she was uh, helping out Carol G and said, if you're mad, just say it with your chest. Make sure to comment down below again. Once again, hashtag you're mad. And did you guys see with us always now, uh, people were saying that Miss Maria was uh, deleting comments, but on her Instagram reel, uh, there was actually a lot of comments that were left and this happened. My And before somebody comments and, and tries to turn this on me, first and foremost, I didn't leave those comments. Uh, this is what people are leaving. Her supporters are leaving on her comments. Yeah, feel me. This is your supporters uh, because when comments are getting more than 200 likes and getting sent to me, then I got to look into the situation. Now, I can't play the video, obviously, uh, because it's a kid dancing. But basically, in the video, uh, they were doing like some sort of neck grabbing uh, dance. Some people were saying that it's just a trend, that it's just a dance, that it's not really a big deal. And other people were saying that she's too young to be doing those dances and those types of gestures. But make sure to comment down below if you guys just think that it's just a dance or if you're on the opposite side and did you guys see with the ace family now it appears uh, for the whole ace fest uh, yeah feel me that they're gonna be having now i kind of want to go to that if you guys really want to see me go to that make sure to subscribe to my other second channel that channel remember when these influencers have events i will be going as fbi mode yeah feel me uh, recording in hd so once that channel hits about 10,000 subscribers i will be uh, posting those type of videos be sure to comment down below if you guys want me to show up at the ace fest to so kind of you know showcase what is going on but something it came out that basically the ace fest is being shared with another festival mike you do show that something is being bucked yeah and i know that this art festival is is just going to go into that with them okay so they're like sharing the space yeah. Okay. All right. That's good. That's all I need. I, I feel better now. Thank you so much for your- So, Mike. So, uh, it's not really uh, just his event. He's actually sharing it with somebody else. So, just in case it kind of looks bigger than what it is, uh, it is because I think, to my knowledge, he is being shared with another, you know, festival of art. But maybe I'll go with the festival of art. Yeah, feel me? And then I'll be, you know, pelando el ojo at the other one. I'm about to pay no $200 for no damn VIPs. 
Hey, nobody play that boo boo. This folder has been through it so much. Yeah, feel me. But this folder right here has the the Cornell note. And for the world news, did you guys see that Elon Musk, Papi Musk, actually bought Twitter? My. Now, what that means basically is uh, he's helping out uh, push freedom of speech now because a lot of platforms really remove it uh, because whatever you say, they get mad and triggered. They're like, mm, you're good. Let's get him out of here. But do you guys think it's a good thing that he's the owner of the CEO of Twitter and now a lot of people have freedom of speech? Make sure to comment down below. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video here for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the giveaway. Subscribe to my second channel if you guys do want to see me go in FBI modes to these events. I am going to be going to the Jenny 69 one. I already got my ticket for that one. So you're good. You're good. And I really do appreciate you guys. Follow my social media. Hijo de tu pinche madre. Pensaste que no me iba a dar cuenta. Pensaste que no me iba a dar cuenta. Encontré esta. Encontré esto. En tu carro. ¿Me puedes explicar? ¿Qué han chingados? ¿Es Jessica? Explícame, por favor. Porque yo estoy leyendo unas cosas que... ¿Qué pendejadas estás haciendo, Alejandro? Es cierto. Lo que dice ahí. Esa nota